As a female plastic surgeon, Dr. Allison Mask brings a unique and personal perspective to her work in the area of breast surgery. The priority she places on listening to her patients and understanding their goals is evident in the results she achieves. Here's Dr. Allison Mask. I specialize in doing procedures of the breast. We do all kinds of procedures for the breast, including enhancement, as well as reconstruction of the breast after women have had breast cancer. I also do work all over the body, mostly cosmetic work, including work of the face. I really enjoy especially helping women to achieve the look that makes them feel comfortable and best about themselves. I think that being a woman adds a different approach to looking at certain breast procedures. I listen to each patient in hopes of achieving what they feel like is the perfect form for their body, not necessarily what society thinks of as the perfect breast or what would be anatomically the perfect breast, but what they see within themselves as being the appropriate size for their own body. I think that breast augmentation has become such a popular procedure because over the years we have shown that it is a very safe operation. I also think that women have much more means and are more in control of their own body than they were in the past, allowing them to make decisions to feel better about themselves. I think that plastic surgery as a whole has become much more acceptable over the past 10 to 15 years because it's getting so much more exposure. People are talking about it like they never did in the past and everyone has a much better understanding of exactly what plastic surgery entails, especially breast augmentation. At the initial consultation, we give the patient a lot of information and answer any questions that she might be concerned about. We also do a physical examination and we make measurements of her body in order to help direct the discussion about placement of the scar location as well as what size implant that the patient might choose. The operation itself only takes about one hour and then recovery at the center is only about one hour as well. All patients go home the day of this operation. They will need a few days of downtime and someone to spend the night with them the day after the operation. Most patients are back to work within three to seven days. Patients cannot be back to full exercise or any kind of rough activities for six weeks, but most patients are back to their normal life easily inside of a week. There are many decisions which are driven by both the patient and the patient's physiology. The first is the incision placement. How are we going to get the implant in? The second is where is the implant going to lie? Is it going to lie above the muscle or under the muscle? And the third is which kind of implant is going to be used, saline or silicone? Now there was some controversy years ago about whether or not silicone implants made women sick. There have been thousands of women studied and the silicone has been thoroughly proven to be safe for women. Therefore, the decision is mostly based on patient choice and some physiological factors about women's bodies. Ultimately, my goal is to listen to each patient and really hear what she's saying and then bring my instincts as a female plastic surgeon with my years of experience and training, combine these two things to reach the ultimate outcome for each individual patient.